Hey there, this is a quick tutorial or a quick demonstration of our new GPT bot that can go and automatically test the user interface in Unity. The idea behind this bot is to create an automated process uh, driven by an LLM that can go and basically collect screenshot and state information about a user interface and then give you a, a nice report or overview of what happened during that run. The idea being that you can then you know validate that your screenshots look correct, you can validate that there's no errors, validate that everything was showing up correctly without having to do any of that work yourself. And so, yeah, just to get started, we have this scene in Boss Room. I've already went and added a few of the different game objects that we need to make this work. And we have a tutorial linked in the description to see how that works. And we'll see here that we have this GPT bot prefab. And you'll see one of the components that we have is a configuration for how to uh, basically direct the LLM through our user interface. And so we have our AI or OpenAI credentials. We have a model selected, in this case, GPT-4 Turbo. And we have a goal, which is to reach a certain scene in this game by hosting a game on the current IP address and then selecting any character class. This game is a multiplayer game. And so the first uh, couple of menus you need to go through is hosting a game and selecting a character. And so we'll just click play. And you'll see our main menu here, and you'll also see a regression games uh, overlay button in the bottom right. I'm going to click that, and we'll see a list of all the bots we have available. Monkey bot is a random bot that'll just click through our menu, but GPT bot is the bot that will use that goal to direct itself through our user interface. And so I'll make sure that's selected and click start bot. You'll see it'll start clicking through all the menus, so I'm not clicking any of these menus myself, go through and clicking things on its own. So first thing it has to do is create a profile. And then it will go and host a game. Finally, now that it's inside of the character selection screen, it'll go and select a character. And then hopefully go and click the ready button. Now note because you know these LLMs are not perfect and you know prompting is is an art. Uh, you'll want to go and modify your prompt to get it to create the sequence of events that you would like it to. We also have a system prompt here, which will help you kind of uh, further fine tune how this bot will work. All right, selected a character, and now it is inside the game. And when this is all said and done, uh, we can also go and quit the game. So I'm gonna click stop. And all the results from this, uh, this run can be found inside the recording. So you can click view recordings. And this will open up a folder which, uh, with a zip file of your latest run. So this would be this one right here. And if I go into this folder, what I'll see is a bunch of screenshots from that run as well as all of the state information for all those screenshots. So what were all the entities in that scene, all the user interface elements, you know, were the buttons enabled, disabled, uh, all the state information you might need to do for, for doing some validations. So yeah, definitely let us know what you think, try it out. It takes only a few minutes to integrate into your game. Uh, if you have feedback, for instance, maybe you want to collect information on other UI elements, uh, just let us know and we're happy to incorporate that feedback. Uh, all this code is open source and, and on our GitHub. And like I mentioned, uh, there'll be a link in the description to try this out for yourself.